What's up everyone, it's Castle Gamer here and welcome back. So guys, there's a new update coming out. This is update patch 220. They recently just released patch 219 and this is 220. So they're getting these updates out relatively quick. So I'm going to be talking to you about what's coming in in this weekend's patch. It'll be released on either Saturday, Sunday or at the latest I'd imagine it would be a Monday. Personally myself, I'm hoping it's going to get released quite late on a Monday just so I can record it all for you guys because as, as you know I'm away for the weekend um, so I'm just going to be going over everything that they've they're going to be adding in to this weekend's patch so first of all the mountable war drums this is the first instrument they're going to be adding into arc this is going to be absolutely awesome and I can't wait for it you could just imagine having your own band in arc like when you're marching towards someone's base to start a war play war music with your drums and all your own band equipment is going to be really cool but these mountable war drums are going to be awesome it's going to be brilliant uh they also add in railings as a structure set so they're going to be like the fence foundations you get you know the ones that you place in the floor to line up the walls it's going to be the same as those but i'm guessing you can place them on top of foundations and they stop you from falling off them so if you like put them around a plesio saddle or something you can't fall off it if you know what i mean also, last but not least, <coughs> they're adding mammal pregnancy. So, as we all know, dino breeding has just came out, and you can breed all the dinos besides mammals. You've got the all the lizardy dinos, I should say, like rexes, raptors, all the <coughs> all those type of dinos, the ones without fur. Um, so they're adding in wolf. Wolves can basically breed now, and there is a chance you can get identical twin twins and triplets now that is going to be amazing just breeding your wolves and getting three three in one go is going to be awesome like i know what i'm going to do if i get triplets i'm going to be selling them straight off to the people on the server you know all those newbies that join the game sell them for cheap you mass, mass produce these things it's going to be amazing so that's pretty much it guys for the upcoming patches uh the upcoming <clears throat> new items uh, there are a lot of other bug fixes on there, but you can pause the video here and read through them if you wish. Um, it does say more notes to come at the bottom. Obviously, they're going to be adding more notes over the weekend before it finally gets released. Uh, I'm only covering these parts now, and I won't be doing another video until after the weekend on Monday. So, there will be more notes to come. Might be new, might even be a new dino or new items i don't know yet so guys you can just keep checking back and forth on that over the weekend i will leave a link in the descriptions going straight to the patch notes website and we're going to be moving on to the new dino dossier they released so <clears throat> this is the iguanodon it is a herbivore and its temperament is reactive so i'm going to read the domesticated thing so because i, I don't have time to read everything else domesticated Interestingly, the Iguanodon's thumb spikes also provide it with the capability to pick seeds out of fruits, allowing a farmer to handily convert stacks of fruit into stacks of seed for planting. So guys, um, this isn't a warm out, this is going to be pretty useless in my opinion because um, it's not used for anything besides converting berries into seeds. By the looks of the dossier, you don't need a saddle. Yeah, I don't think you need a saddle. You can tame it and it converts fruit into seeds. You just jump on the back of it like wolves. Because uh, the, little, the little picture on the left shows a guy riding it without the saddle. So, this thing's going to be really, really cool. I like how they're adding loads of new dinos into Ark. Like, there's loads of them I haven't even seen before. Never even mentioned once. And I can't wait for the game to be fully released. I think it's going to take, like, I think they said two years before the game is fully released they have it on xbox and ps4 then and it, oh, the game's just gonna be awesome guys when it comes out i just can't wait like me and myself i've already had 600 hours playing the game it's still in alpha or maybe it's in beta i'm not sure one of you can tell me if you know but for what how much work they've put in already it is truly amazing and this game has so much potential and i can't wait for it to be finished because I've got 600 hours on it now. I can imagine by the time it's finished, I'm going to have th thousands of hours. I'm on it every day, all day. It's this brilliant game. I should love it so much. So, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Um, I just want to thank you all for watching. Also, I want to thank you all for the support on all the other videos. I really, really appreciate it. And, guys, I'll speak to you again on Monday in my next video. Goodbye.